Welcome guys to PVS the tutor. Today we'll be looking at one of the questions under genetics. So the question says pure bleeding dwarf garden pea plants were closed with pure bleeding tall garden pea plants. The resulting offspring were all tall. So before we go to the question, we need to understand the statement. So pure bleeding. So pure breeding, we know that uh, these are homo homozygotes. Huh? Pure breeds, they are also known as homozygotes. So that means it's either all the, all the alleles are recessive or all the alleles are what are dominant. And here they have said dwarf uh, garden pea plants. So dwarf, we know that they are short. So let's use our own letters. For shortness, let's, we can use TT. Then it was closed with a pure bleeding toe garden. So for toe, they were both two. So they are saying the dwarf one I got alleles. Both alleles are uh, are recessive. And the two one has got both alleles that are dominant. So all these are homozygotes. Why? Because all the alleles, uh, no one has been uh, superseded uh, by the other allele. So they are all the same. Now, they are saying all the resulting offsprings were two. It's true. If this is uh, two and this is the for dwarfism, of course, you know that the tall alleo is going to uh, suppress the, the dwarfism what? alleo. As a result, you are going to have offsprings like this. With the first uh, letter or standing for tall, that means the second letter has been overshadowed, so it cannot be expressed in the phenotype. The only alleo that can be expressed in the phenotype is the, uh, the letter for tonis. So we know that all the offspring were tall, so they can be represented by this uh, genotype. Now let's keep our genotype there. They are saying what is meant by pure breeding. So pure breeding, it's just a type of breeding, okay, that results in all alleles of that particular organism being dominant or being recessive. So we are just saying a breeding that results in alleles being recessive or dominant. So alleles at the cannot be dominant and recessive at the same time in terms of pure breeding. No, they can either be both recessive or both dominant so that's a simple explanation you have you, you, you can have on pure breeding the next question says using your own symbols state the genotype genotype you need to understand what is genotype genotype these are the 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 internal uh expressions or or, or, or in short the genetic makeup of an organism these can, cannot be seen but they they interplay the inside information to the outside features of an organism. So in this case, we can, uh, using our own symbols, we can write the genotype for dwarf and the genotype for uh, tonus. So for, for dwarfism, we've already uh, stated from earlier that for dwarfism, it's T, T. That's, that's what they mean by genotype. They cannot be seen. So genotype, it further tells what a person uh, or what an organism uh, is uh, or uh, looks looks or what it looks like through phenotype. So these are for dwarfism. For dwarf, then T, we can say for tonis. Okay? So we've given ourselves for dwarfism that and for tonis that. That's what you are required to do in that particular question. So the question says, using a genetic diagram, show the cross between a dwarf parent and one of the offsprings. Listen to the question. Between a dwarf parent and one of the offsprings. And we know that the, phenot the genotype for one of the offsprings is this. And the genotype for the parent dwarf is this. So we are going to use this to cross and we'll see what are the offsprings that we are going to have. So to draw a genetic diagram, we first need to select the parent uh, phenotype, then parent uh, genotype. So we can say 
parent uh, then you can say phenotype so i'm going to abbreviate them so i'm going to abbreviate them parent phenotype pp so in case in this case parent phenotype for the dwarf one is dwarf so you write it in weight then for the other one is tall then parent genotype for this one it's tt then for that one so you put an x there you we are crossing remember then here it's c like that then gametes so you put them in circles that make sure this x and the other x are in the same line then you can close them so you do that so you have tt like that sorry what about that so you maintain that it goes there you have t t then you come there you have t t then you go there you have t t so we've seen that this is to this is dwarf this is to and that is a uh, dwarf so this is what they wanted us to do so okay so this is it uh, this is Torah the first one is Torah dwarf Torah dwarf so it's a 50 50 percent thing so our last question says differ differentiate between homozygous uh, and heterozygous so we need to understand what heterozygous is and what homozygous is so like I explained earlier, homozygous is uh, more in like, like pure bleeding than heterozygous uh, hybriding. Uh, so, so homozygous has got alleles, both dominant or recessive. Wow, heterozygous has one allele dominant and the other recessive. So that's what we're trying to say. So under homozygous, all alleles can be both dominant or both recessive. While under heterozygous, uh, two alleles, the first one has to be dominant, of course, then the second one has to be recessive. So that's what we mean by homozygous and by being heterozygous. So thank you so much. Don't forget to share and don't forget to subscribe. The total PVS.